but I'm hitting the record button and this is the evolution working group for February 22nd, um, 2022, as it turns out. Uh, don't know about the rest of y'all, but we're going to get snow again tomorrow. All the snow from last week is melted. We are enjoying the wind. It's mm -hmm. like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, Nebraska, you don't have any real hills in front of Omaha <laughs> to protect you from that. I just posted the meeting minutes in there, so there was a meeting January twenty fifth. So we nobody met last time in my absence. I think Vinod and I were the only ones to show up, right? Yeah, and we oh. just said, "eh." Okay, fair enough. We weren't gonna do work, so. <laughs> We started working on our own stuff. <laughs> All right, so today is, uh, and our, we have a deadline coming up. So I think our first order of business is, um, I don't see Kevin today. Uh, let's see, we had started working on change request commits and we had planned to then start working on change request reviews. But if my memory serves, we might be in much better position to try to finish change request commits than we are to start with change request reviews. So let me just check here. Okay. And actually they both, they all, they both have, oops, change request re reviews, change request commits. Um, I think we have, do we want, let's, I'm going to suggest that we start with change request commits and see if we can finish that. Um, yep and then move on to change request reviews if we have time? Seems, uh, uh, what I recall, there was just image missing, which you have already added, I think. Yeah, maybe just we can go through it and yeah. close it. Yeah, let's uh, just add a chat. Why don't we all take a minute to read through it? Um, I will pause the recording while we're reading through it, just because nobody wants to watch that. Oops, I want to, not the sharing the recording. Again, since we're starting to discuss it. Back to recording. I'm going through and accepting changes others have provided. Did you find the Baturgia link? No. Okay. No. That's fine. Um, I think I have it. I'll, I'll look. Um, I don't think they have um, commits per pull request or average commits per pull request, but I'm not positive. I think this visualization will be able to be made bigger when we put it in the uh, actual markdown as well. Yep, uh, uh, we can directly save from the API and put it on the GitHub, it'll then will be much better visible. 
All right. If anybody dislikes my changes, reject them or accept them. But I think that we are pretty darn close to a metric. I pulled that from that sigils page, Sean. Does that, would that be better than, or do you want the dashboard? Um, uh, yes. The sigils page is probably, if, if it's clearly um, there, the, I mean, whatever you think is the best representation. These are the things that are included in that panel that they have, like the number of author, there you go, which seems oh. to, Number of modified files, or, or yeah, I mean, it commits. Yeah, this panel seems to be exactly the right length to me. Would we should I put that up under tools providing instead of references? Yeah, I think that's tools providing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That I do think that. I think this looks good. Yep. Yeah, I do too. Oh. Okay, that's the wrong one. So what is, uh, have we created the issue or do we need to create the issue? I don't think we created it yet. Okay. Um, see, we, does somebody want to take an action item to pull this together and Submit it as a candidate metric. I can do that. Okay, so before March 1st, I think. Yep, I'll do it. Thanks, Bernard. No problem. Thank you, Bernard. Oops. Ah. I can't seem to operate. All right, so now moving on to change request reviews.
Oops, that was editing instead of suggesting. Sorry about that. I just made this sentence here separate from the one before. I seriously don't understand how it decides something to do URL and I put the mark down, I'll fix it. Uh, what is time period in the filters? Just that um, time I period would, for the review. Uh, well, for example, I, I might be interested in knowing over the course of like for a project that's been around a while, I might be interested only in the last two years of data to understand the change in practice. Yeah, in so a, maybe. A, uh, yeah, I got thing. your point. Yeah, yeah, just time period was not clear to me, like uh, time period for review or uh, something more elaborate. Time period, okay. Um, so change request review. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a...
if we both made the same change at the same time, that's like <laughs> Google didn't catch that one. Oh, yeah. John, I have a question. Um, yeah. It seems like, <clears throat> and I could be wrong, <laughs> but it seems like this actually might be a filter on the one we were just doing. Change request commit. Like you would, you would see the commit or the whole change request, and then that would be a filter. As did it also go through this formal process? Or am so I completely the, wrong? No, I don't think you're completely wrong. Um, maybe not that metric. Maybe a different metric, but um, it's. I mean, the kind of the way that it ends up. Let me see if we can find a. I got a bunch of these things I got to close. Like I, I guess it depends on how the API provides that information. Right. Yeah, let me, well, let me, uh, let's see. Uh, All right, here's a bigger one. So here, this particular change request has 133 commits. And, yeah. and so, this many files are changed. Right. And so like for the change request commits, I'm actually, the way the review happens is I'll like go here and make a comment and it won't relate to a commit so much as it will to a file. Because right. okay. any one commit could include more than one file. Yep, so it's a two layer of commits. You're commenting on the request, like pull request, entire pull request, that discussion, and on the each individual file you are commenting, right. on each individual line you are commenting. So it maps more closely to files than it does to commits. So this, this metric we're working on, if you go back to the original page. Oh, to- No, the, sorry, um, of, the, of your PR, yeah. when it lists the Where reviewers. Was that? Oh, yes. Like, so wherever it listed the review, yeah. Yeah, right so here, yeah. What we're looking for in this metric is that there are specific reviewers that have been requested to review the commit, right? Correct. Okay. And and then what is the product of those, those reviews? Okay. So do they go through and make comments and suggest changes or do they accept the pull request as it is? Okay um it so it's, okay yeah so it depends a great deal on the practices of a project most projects when they accept commits or accept or change requests from outside their core do a review and ask for some changes just to can create you know maintain some sort of consistency it's hard to know the consistency patterns if you're new to a project but okay, the, so, oh go ahead yeah, so the it'll it could go through several review cycles, which is the other thing. So like I could review this pull request and ask for some changes. Okay. And then the, some somebody they would change their fork or their branch, and then submit those changes, and I would be prompted to then review this pull request again with the changes that were made at my request. So it doesn't. Yeah, it just it it does not. It definitely doesn't really map to commits because these commits can touch many of the same files. So it's more than just a toggle on and off, a toggle of did you formally request a review or did you not? It's a did, was there a review really? Okay. If okay. you requested it, but there wasn't a review, there's, you, there's like no review data. Okay. Um, okay. That would be an event, but it wouldn't be part of like this metric. You can okay. see there's 22 files changed, but 133 commits. So yeah, like I said, the review takes place at the file level. Okay. So when we get to change request files, I think there's a relationship to change request reviews. Okay. But I don't think so for commits. I was just thinking of that first aggregator we have that says what percentage of change requests are formally reviewed using platform features. So mm -hmm. you would so in essence, it sounds like from that aggregator, you're collecting all, all of everything and then pulling that out. Um, we're collecting everything about the, the change request 
review, which includes some metadata about the review as a whole. Okay, okay. Which is in okay. here. Uh, and it also includes metadata about like when I made a comment back here, it'll include this comment in the review. Okay. Like in any comments I make about specific pieces of code get incorporated into the analysis of a pull request review. And then whether or not it was approved is, is the next stage. Okay. So this metric is kind of uh, got a lot to it. It's kind of complicated. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but GitHub and GitLab do have APIs that let you gather all of the data that you see here. Yep. So, but pull request, yeah. So, but pull request commits is like a piece of data that's different that than the review. It's not really linked to the review at all, but the files are. When we do pull request files, I think there is a direct connection because every file could get a comment on it or not. Do we make that more explicit in this metric? Or do people generally know that? I don't know. Um, where would we make it? What would we say here? So it's a file change, uh, lines added, line deleted. There we can add a review. Uh, OK. Um, so I think up in the description. I think, does that help so, to make things a little bit more clear? Uh, last point in this paragraph is confusing. Like the reasoning behind the change request being closed without getting merged, uh, that will be already covered in the comments if there are comments on it. Yes. Yes, and each, I mean, whether it's accepted, changes requested, or it's declined, um, that may be, that may be, it, it's probably made clear in the top level comments, yeah. but sometimes when things aren't merged, there are details about okay. why it wasn't merged that are in the file level comments. Okay. Okay. Um, so for example, if, if somebody decided to change the persistence paradigm for an open source project, uh, and that probably covered 35 files, uh, it, there may be specific comments about why, the, why this doesn't work for each file that would help a new contributor understand why their change request was rejected if you were trying to develop community you would you would comment on the pieces specifically um, so that you like when you just close it without very thorough comment of course that's more discouraging to newcomers if you close it with several comments on the files i think then at least as a new contributor i understand why you didn't um, merge my pull yep. request And really one of the things I look at is, you know, the amount of file level commenting, yep. because I think it's indicative of a more genuine process than just saying nothing. It's more a thorough review than just yeah. a review. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes there's pull requests that are just off the wall and 
you do yeah. make just a general comment. Yeah. Like we're not going to do this because we have four minutes left. I think both the metrics are good to go. Yeah, I, w I wish we had visualizations, but I don't think we do. I mean, I know Augur doesn't have any visualizations and I don't for more than it does. Somebody, I can accept my own comments, but it's probably better practice if someone I've, else accepts or rejects them. I've gone through yours so you can uh, accept it or I can accept it. All right. So. It's going to speed things along now. All right. So, uh, so I think we have two that are ready for um, release. That's great, especially since we didn't meet last night. I kind of like fire lit a feet under our fire lit, lit a fire under our feet, something like that. Yep. <laughs> um, Vinod, do you? Feet under fire. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what even that means. Vinod, since you're gonna do one, do you mind just doing? Yep. Them? Yep. I'll do it. No worries. I'll do it. It's thank you. Doing thank you. one or two is the same effort. So it's exactly, it's like. <laughs> thank you, Vinod. We appreciate it. Okay. Well, I uh, excellent meeting, everyone. <laughs> Be proud of your meeting selves. And um, are there any other? I don't think we have time to cover really any of the other things on the agenda. So. Yeah. I think I will bid you adieu prior to the community meeting. Sean, do you have a minute after this meeting? I just need to talk one thing with you. All right. Yeah. See, yeah. see ya. Okay. Bye. Yep. Let me stop the recording. Okay.